My name is Teddy Jacobson of Actions by T. I am a pistol smith in Sugarland, Texas. I am a trigger specialist and work on over 100 different models of handgun actions. This tape will be about preparing your handgun for street carry. I will explain many things in detail, some of which you have never heard before. No publication would ever print what I tell you on my audio and video tapes. My only intent is honesty and integrity. I rework law enforcement handguns nationwide, and I deal in reality. I do not sell dreams and or illusions. I make myself accessible to everyone by phone or you can email me through my website. 95% of my work is for street guns that are used to protect life and property. I'm going to work off a checklist because this is a quite involved process of preparing your uh, handgun for street carry. And first I want to talk about the ammunition. Ammunition you get today, most of which the primers are not sealed. It's critical that you carry ammunition that the primers are sealed and protected against uh, lubricants like WD-40 or any penetrating lubricant. Uh, this is a box of uh, El Dorado Starfire ammunition and if you can, we get a close-up of this, you can see these primers they, they have no seal on them in the back. In other words, if any oil gets in any of these primers, you have a dead bullet. Your life depends on what I'm going to show you, and so you've got to pay close attention. This is critical for your survival. I'm going to uh, hold up another box of bullets and show you what a sealed primer looks like. This is a box of, of Triton that I've already sealed the primers. Now you can see I use red nail polish. If you look at this box on my left, all the primers have been sealed. The box on my right here, you can see they have not been sealed. I'm going to show you first off how to seal your primers the correct way. There is a primer sealant that's available that's like a light bluish green lacquer. I don't like it as well as I do uh, just plain good nail polish. Maybe you can steal a bottle from your wife. But for instance, what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these bullets out and you can use any color you want of this nail polish. This happens to be red. Here's a bottle of purple nail polish. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you put it on the entire back of the casing. Now I'm going to go slow so the camera can see what I'm doing. I'm painting the entire back of the bullet casing including the lettering. And if I have to use a little excess amount, it doesn't matter. And I'll show you why in a minute. Now when I paint this, I'm going to put it down in, back in the box and let it dry. And for instance, I'm only going to paint two of these and I'm going to show you. I've, I've already painted some last night and they're already dry and I'm going to show you the next process or the next step in preparing your primer sealer. Okay. These two are now in the stages of being of drying. I'm going to get a close up of this so you can see. I just painted these two. They're wet. 
you're going to have to let this dry for at least 30, 40 minutes before you can proceed with the next step. Okay? But as I said, last night I painted these cartridges. This is a box of Remington Golden Sabres, 45 ACP. I painted the entire back. And this is dry now. I'm going to take one of these bullets out. And I'm going to take a paper towel. I happen to use Bounty paper towels, but it doesn't matter. I like Bounty better. This is nail polish remover. And I'm going to wrap the towel around my index finger. This is a new bottle, and I forgot to open it. I'm going to put some of this nail polish remover on my bounty paper towel. And I'm going to take this case, the head stamp, and I'm just going to turn it and you can see how it's coming off on my paper towel. And I'm just going to get it all off except now you can see the, pr the red nail polish will stay in the crevices around the primer and in the lettering. The reason that I do the lettering is for visibility. It's easier for me to read. You don't necessarily have to do the lettering, but it's, it's an easy way to read it. You can read everything on the back of the head stamp. But now this primer is totally sealed against any kind of contaminants, whether it's WD-40 or any uh, super penetrating oil or moisture. This will save your life. You should never carry a bullet unless it's been sealed like this. Now I'm going to do another one so you'll get the idea again. Again, I can use the same paper towel to do maybe two or three without having to put more nail polish remover on it. And all I'm going to do is wipe it off in a circular motion. You might have to flip around the, the toweling to a clean spot. But once, once you remove it from the surface, the red nail polish still remains. And so this primer is sealed. Now if you wanted to, and it's not necessary, you could run a bead of nail polish around where the bullet enters the casing, but you would have to wipe it off and only leave a microscopic application of red nail polish at the crevice Otherwise, it would interfere with your, with your, uh, uh, your, your casing where it head spaces in the mouth of the chamber. So I don't really find this is necessary. This is the key ingredient right here. Now I'm going to put this back in this box. I'm going to close up my nail polish. When I get a box of ammo, ammo that I have already sealed, what I do is I put a loose leaf reinforcement on the box itself. What this tells me that I have already sealed this box of primer, this box of bullets, the primers are sealed. This is just a visual observation. You could use a red dot, you could use a different type of method, but I like these reinforcements because they're easy to see and they stick very well. So any time I'm looking for a box of bullets to grab up and take with me or to use, I know which ones have been sealed. For carrying purposes, in the summertime, a MagSafe bullet is very hard to beat. What MagSafe does, uh, these are uh, exotic bullets in the fact that they melt the lead out of the jacket, jacketed bullet, and they pour and they put in steel BBs, steel shot, and they fill the remainder with marine epoxy. 
This bullet travels about 2,000 feet a second out of a 45, and it's a devastating bullet. In the summertime,